Hello, today I'm going to run through the setup of the 450L-ENETR Ethernet version of the light curtains. So I'll run through the equipment that you'll need. You'll first need two of the sticks, either the 450LE or 450LB. Today I'm going to use the E versions, but this will still work with the B. You'll also need a standard 5-pin transmitter plug-in. With the Ethernet kit, you receive the ENETR Ethernet module and the EN8 plugin. So the first thing you'll need to do with the EN8 plugin is on the rotary dials here, this is where you set the IP address of the that the light curtain is going to be. So by default, it'll be a 192.168.1 dot and then whatever you set the last three digits of the address with the rotary dials. In this instance, I've set it to 88. So as before, you take your plug-in. In this case, this is a five pin transmitter. I'll put it in and put it into my stick. And then I'll take the EN8 and plug that into the other stick. These then connect into the space module. So you have power in, transmitter in, which is basically, sorry, it's basically five pin power to the transmitter stick. Um, an ethernet out, so you can do a device level ring. Ethernet in, and this is where the receiver plugs into. And that's basically it. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just connect it up as it is shown there. So this is my transmitter. So I plug that into the transmitter. This is my receiver. So you'll have to go off shot in a second. So I take my receiver and plug into oops, the receiver input on the module. Again, these are all keyed connectors. So now I simply add my decoded ethernet into link one, as I'm not using a device level ring for this demo. and then power. The module should now power up. Okay, so what I'm doing off camera now is I'm actually pairing the plug-in with the opposite stick. So the receiver hasn't been used in this stick before. So I'm just doing the pairing routine, which I've showed in an earlier video. So now what I need to do is align the curtains. Again, I've shown this before previously, but you basically touch the optical interface here. It then shines up an array of uh, laser dots onto the opposing uh, stick, and then we basically line them up. Oops. And that's it, they're aligned. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna continue this demonstration of Inside Studio 5000 uh, and show you how to use add-on profile to get the safety status out of the, the curtains themselves.